Today we're in the Houghton Lake, Higgins Lake area. And for me personally, this is an absolute go-to for me and my family in the summer. But I wanna check out what it's known for in the winter time. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go. Andy, this is one of your favorite kinds of trails for the winter, a tall evergreen trail. So here's Marl Lake and the trails that go around it. Right now we're here and we're gonna do this loop that goes around the trail but stays near it the whole time. What's cool about a trail like this is to get out, enjoy the outdoors, and create a memory. This place happens to be special to me because it's the very first time that I took my new puppy, Edna, out on vacation with me. So it was the first time that we got to go out on this big outdoor adventure, including hiking right here, and she absolutely loved it. I spent the whole time teaching her and helping her through this trail, and every time I'm here, I think about that, and it just maintains a special place in my heart because she was so small when we were doing it. Now, well, she's so big, so that's, what's special to me about this place. I love at this point in the winter, when you're on a lake, you can just look out and everything is so calm. There's something quiet about the woods in the winter. Sometimes when I'm out in the woods, I get this creepy feeling, like something's watching me. And then you just kinda gives you that little shiver. Yeah. Wonder if it's actually ever true. We're about to go cross-country skiing at a place that I've heard about for years. This is Cross-Country Ski Headquarters. You're the best shot dog in the world. You think so? I do. This is by far the best equipment I've ever cross country skied in. And uh, you know what? It makes a difference. This is fun, like actually fun. The weather's perfect. Look at that, it's sunny outside. We're here at Trapper's Cabin, that's that. And then we're going to continue on our way back that direction. See that tuck? I'm not gonna lie, that looked more graceful than I think mine was. I thoroughly enjoy this place. I like the clear markings so you know like what you're getting yourself into, but I was having so much fun we actually ended up going further than we thought we were going to. And now, uh, we're, we're here. Wow. 
Why did we use a guide to go ice fishing? Well, for one, it's way easier to use a guide when you're fishing. For two, we don't know this lake. And for three, well, they already have the shacks ready for us, so we don't have to sit there and try to make our own shack and sit out on a bucket or bring all of our own stuff. It's all prepared for us, so we're gonna go fishing and oh, I hope we catch something. Look at that! <laughs> Consider that a successful trip? Absolutely successful. Um, more than I remember counting, so that's always good. It's easy to be like I got one or two. And one big guy, so that's awesome.